all right guys welcome back to the second part of the video if you haven't seen the first part make sure to check it out and if you're enjoying this kind of videos leave a like and let's continue from where exactly we left off last time and now if i play it back you can see that uh these things kind of move a bit uh randomly everywhere and i think i'm good with this so i'll create i'll select the first uh, three beams and uh, bring back the opacity now i want one beam to be viewed at one particular time i don't want two beams to be viewed at the same time so either it's going to be beam one beam two or beam three one at a time so what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to create a keyframes on all of them and around one second uh, let's start with the beam first um, i want the beam first to be uh okay so let's say at one second I want the beam 1 to last for 1 second so I'll just create another keyframe and change the value to 100 it is taking 1 second to come from 0 to 100 so I'll just select the key I'll just select the first keyframe uh, go 10 frames down by pressing page down 10 times so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 uh, you can, by the way, you can see here at which uh, frame and second you are. So I'm at zero seconds and ten frames. And I'm just gonna create another keyframe and make it 100. In those ten frames, the opacity of beam changes from zero to 100. And when I play it back, this is what you get. So I'm gonna go into the next keyframe again. Press one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna do that for. Um, everything else now and bring back the opacity to zero the composition should look something like this it should start off um, up, it should appear for about one second I think and then just fade away so the same thing what I did for moving the circles uh, I'm just randomly going to create keyframes I'm just randomly going to create the keyframe for the opacities as well um, so the similar thing Two keyframes in the beginning and two keyframes in the end. Two hours later. Twenty minutes later. Okay, so I think I'm done with everything. So let's. Uh... And by the way, if you're wondering uh, how I just brought down those properties, I just pressed U on the keyboard to bring down. Uh, all the keyframes that it's using so now that we have created our main composition we just have to duplicate the composition and repeat uh, what we just did so I'll just create a new composition uh, name it as um, num 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 okay what horizontal lines I'll set the composition duration to about like um, maybe 7 seconds and uh, I'll go into the project and bring down the main composition in the inside horizontal lines and we'll duplicate this composition to uh, let's say about five to six times maybe ten or something and then uh, move each of the compositions to around something like this So this is so this is our main horizontal line. Uh, once more, select everything, uh, right click and pre-compose. And I'm gonna call this as mm, background. All right. So now that we have got our main composition, uh, yeah. Before that, and now all we have to do is just uh, position them randomly across the composition. So that um, all of them do not go in the same order they just kind of mess up around which is what exactly we want to do uh, let's see what i messed up what did i mess up oh yeah so i figured out the problem and now it's all fine and what we can do now is uh, select some random compositions and uh, right click and go to time and uh, time reverse here so what this is gonna do is it's gonna play back these four compositions in the reverse way 
so yeah so now we have one horizontal line i think i'll just move it a bit <sighs> wow i made a mistake uh, i'll go back to this composition and change the, uh, the time to around 9 seconds i guess i'll go back into horizontal lines and uh, i'll just yeah so i'll just drag it somewhere around in the middle and now when i play it back it looks yeah it looks good so now that we have created one horizontal line we'll duplicate this layer uh, a few times and just move them above all right so i'm finally done i created 14 different layers and uh, this is how it looks now you can notice that uh, all of them go in the same order like uh, all the 14 lines are uh, doing the same thing throughout the composition so i'm going to do exactly the same thing which what i did for this particular composition so i'll just expand this by pressing the tilt key i'll press control alt r which is the shortcut for time reverse layer and when i play it back you can see that now the lines are moving uh, it's it's totally random ah finally uh, it's the last time we're going to uh, pre-compose them so i'll just select all of them and pre-compose uh, what do i call this uh, well, let me just call it pre-comp one i'm okay so now that we have our main composition over here um, we'll just create a new solid so go into layer new and solid uh, i want it to be um, gray i think gray would look fine yeah gray and i'll put this layer below the pre comp layer so that our dots become visible and i think that's it uh, i'll select the composition and press r on the keyboard to open rotation and i'll just rotate this wow i'll just rotate this a little like around 3 degrees or i think fine yeah i think it's fine and you can obviously scale them or by pressing s or uh, change the position by pressing p on the keyboard like i'm not sure here. so that's it for this video and uh, it it really took a lot of time for me and i messed up so many times so uh, make sure you leave a like to this video let's see if we can cross 50 likes anyways guys i hope you enjoyed this video and uh, also make sure to subscribe thanks for watching